I was expecting like a small thing, you know, with <laughs> and it would be good to to tell our students what's happening. I will I will I, mean, I, I wasn't expecting them to stay, I thought it was home time. They're all gonna be, I thought home time, they're all going to be gone. It's really good. It's nice. But I wasn't spending. Has anyone seen a Shahada before? Like, you know what the Shahada before? I saw it. Yeah, it's a Shahada. Have you seen a Shahada before? Have you seen a Shahada before? Have you seen a Shahada before? My regular laptop is gone for repair, <laughs> like at the worst possible time. So I'm doing everything on a different machine. Okay, uh, meetings, and I've already set this meeting up. So, so for your family, if you let them know, uh, you know, through the wonderful <coughs> thing called WhatsApp, which is instant, that they can now, in literally. See here. Starting it up now. It's just starting up the, uh, so, with permission, with permission, I'm going to record it via Zoom as well. Yes. So that I can share uh -huh. that with you later. Uh -huh. Okay? Um, good. And let me just set up the video. Close it. Are, are we supposed to give chairs to people under 50? <laughs> 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 Okay, so this does not need to see me, it needs to see Mark. There we are, Mark, we're the two of us, right? I'll come right next to you. So, Muhammad, so let's, I think this is fine. Yes. I don't want to see your sockets behind us, but Mark, you, you come here. Yes, sure. You come here. Right, Muhammad, look at this and give us the best possible frame with the, with the camera. You can, you can see it, you can see it. And then you, so move the move the move the camera now and give us the best possible frame. And uh, I need one a couple of young volunteers. Uh, Brother Talha, you're too young. Brother Talha, Brother Mirza, if you could move that out of the way so that we get we get a clear wall. How's it looking? Yeah, this will be good. This is better. Anyway, right. try not to catch any wires and things so that now I'm getting fussy. Is that alright? Don't take it to you, yeah? That's yeah, that was good. That was good. I think I'm happy with that. <coughs> Mark? I'm happy with that. My bad. It's going to have to be bad. Okay. <coughs> Alright, so, now. Um, is, 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 is everything okay in your end? You, you managed to send the message over for them to join? Yes. Okay. Right, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, wa sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam ala sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in amma ba'd. For Mark's benefit, for Chris's benefit, and Mark, what's your mum's name? Dominique. Dominique. So for your benefit, I'll try and explain as many things as I can, right? So usually an Islamic gathering begins with, a, in Arabic, with an Arabic praise of God. Um, much of the wordings of these types of things we actually get through, uh, through traditions of the Prophet Muhammad where uh, the kind of words similar to how he would start a gathering are used. And usually we call them words of hamd and uh, And that means that these are words of praise and glorification of God. And customarily, it's almost always followed with um, blessings and salutations sent to the Prophet Muhammad. And meaning, the meaning of blessings and salutations sent to the Prophet Muhammad uh, is, simply a, it, it, it's simply the meaning, it's a prayer. So we invoke, we pray to God that God sends blessings and peace and, and salutations to the Prophet uh, Muhammad. And this is done not as an act of <coughs> kindness to the Prophet Muhammad. We do not believe that he needs our prayers, but more than that, it's more of an act of love as well as a duty. Because um, in the Quran, um, God commanded us to send blessings and salutations on the Prophet, right? Um, so, Ya Ayyuhu Al-Ladina Al-Musallu Alayhi, as you know, Muslims know this very well, all believers send salutations and blessings on the Prophet Muhammad. Um, so this is a command from God, and commands of God become our duty. And secondly, it's an act of love. So we believe that part of loving the Prophet is to abundantly send salutations. So any occasion we tend to do it. 
You know, we walk into the masjid, we say, Allah, uh, Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah, Allah maftah li barahmatullahi. You know, simple things like that. We say, you know, in the name of God, uh, uh, and then we say, peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad. Does that make sense? So we tend to do that. So that's how we start all gatherings. So that's what I basically said. Right? So Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabi wa ala amma ba'd. Okay, so that being that little introduction done. Today we're gathering for the Shahada of uh, Brother Mark, um, as well as his Nikah, right? So there's a background story to this, which I know about, you don't need to know. Uh, but in a, in, in a nutshell, I've been seeing uh, Mark for a few weeks now. I think we've had about three meetings, two yeah. or three meetings, uh, where we've talked about Islam uh, and so on. Uh, and uh, Mark and Sister Fozzi have got to know one another and through that Mark's become interested in Islam and in converting to Islam. Um, and then eventually in one of the meetings with me he said that he's ready. So as, as, is, <coughs> as it should be, normally we don't like to delay someone's shahada if they're saying they're ready. So I did privately take Mark's shahada. Right? So Mark is already Muslim. Right? For all practical purposes and for spiritual purposes. However, I thought that he should still say his shahada in front of uh, in front of the community so that you all have something uh, to pray for right and you can all pray for him and so on uh, so so therefore i will i will go through the process again with mark if you don't mind and to make mike's mark's life easy i'll i'll get him to say the words in english all right um uh, j just to make it easier and smoother because we have an, whole, an another function to do afterwards um, but as an introduction I've explained this to Mark, but I'll say it for the benefit of Mark's parents and, and, and for all of us as, as a reminder. <coughs> the process of becoming a Muslim is simply the process of testifying that there is, there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is, is God's servant and messenger. Um, usually for Christians who convert or people with a Christian background, sometimes uh, in the process of the... So, because, because becoming Muslim is the process of testifying and bearing witness that God is one, and the Prophet Muhammad is his messenger. That's why it's called a shahada, right? So shahada means the testimony. So shahada means the bearing witness. So essentially, Mark is bearing witness as we all have done. And this continues to be an act of worship. It's something that we repeat again and again. We repeat it in our prayer, we repeat it in our daily. Uh, in, our, in, in some of our other forms of ritual worship and so on, we're always repeating our testament. But for somebody who's becoming Muslim, it starts with that initial testament. For, for, for people who are taking their shahada from a Christian background, sometimes we add the words that Jesus is, that the Prophet Jesus is also God's servant and messenger. And this is, this is, sometimes it's, it's necessary, it's a, it's a point of emphasis because Christians come from a background of believing that believing in the Trinity or, or, or some other form of Christian belief that does not uh, take Jesus. Although I, I did come across a, uh, a, a, a Jesuit actually who said that he believed that Jesus was just a messenger and not the Son of God. So maybe th there's, there's some variations that we're, even we're, we're not aware of. But generally speaking, the predominant kind of Christian belief about Jesus Christ is Trinity. However, Jesus is not irrelevant to us Muslims. So often we say to people who are becoming Muslim from a Christian background that you're not really abandoning um, your spiritual connections, right? Your spiritual connections are to God. Your spiritual connections are to, to Jesus Christ. You know, that doesn't change. The people that you venerate and respect doesn't change. You still venerate and respect Jesus Christ, but in a different <coughs> It's just that in a different, it's in a different capacity. Jesus Christ is not the Son of God in the, in the Islamic uh, belief system. He is a messenger of God, exactly the way Prophet Muhammad was a messenger of God, and he is also one of God's greatest messengers. Right? He is described in the Quran as as among the great messengers of high resolve, meaning you know the the, 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 the you know he's among the biggest and the best of God's messengers up there with Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Uh, with 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 Moses or Musa and with uh, and him uh, and so on. Uh, Ibrahim is one of the other great uh, messengers of God. So it changes from the belief of the Trinity or Jesus being one of a Trinity or the Son of God or God Himself to 
that's an important person uh, of God, i.e. a messenger of God, but that's it, a messenger of God, which is, which is the greatest thing. In our tradition, it is the greatest, uh, it is the greatest status a human being can have. You know, the greatest of all of God's creation are not the angels, they are God's messengers, right? And the angels are below them in the hierarchy. Uh, so, so, and, and so Jesus has that. So that position of veneration remains, and then all of the biblical prophets are prophets of God in the Quran, right? And in the Islamic tradition. So, in a sense, accepting Islam isn't a complete abandonment of uh, of Christianity. Uh, the, the, I suppose the key question then remains about the truth, and I hope hope that the question of of, of truth is one that remains a, a point of investigation for everybody. Uh, and it's an area of learning and education that I hope Mark will, will pursue. Okay, so that's my brief introduction. Um, I think once, I've already spoken to you Mark, once a person has taken their shahada, then the obligations and the duties of Islam become obligatory upon them. First and foremost is, um, is the other five, other five daily prayers, which you should, as soon as possible, try to, try to learn. And then, of course, I've given you some reading. Learn as much as you can about it. So, children, do you all understand that since you're here, you understand what the shahada is? Right, when somebody accepts Islam. Okay, now you will take it for granted because you were born Muslims, but you also need to take the shahada regularly because we all need to testify La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. So, in your, memoriz in your memorization class, what's the first thing you learn? Kalima tayyiba, right? La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. So, that's basically what Brother Mark is going to, is going to testify to. Right? Okay, and then after the Shahada, we will say, a, 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 we'll, I'll, we'll do a collective prayer. I'll do it in English uh, for Brother Mark. And then afterwards, I will, you know, you're all, I mean, I suppose everybody's already in here, but I'd like the brothers, inshallah, to then leave so that Sister Fazia is comfortable. And then we'll do the Nikah a bit more in a bit more in, intimate environment. Sisters can hang around for, 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 the, for the benefit of Sister Fazia. But there'll be just a few of us brothers, because I'd like the, the women to be comfortable. Um, and then who, who are witnessing and me doing the nikah, and then we do the nikah a bit more privately if everybody's okay with that, inshallah. Okay? Jazakumullah khair. Alright, so suppose, yeah, on the technical side, your family's on Zoom? They can see it? Right. Using my phone. Using your phone? Yes, it's already on my phone. So have they not been able to join? The Zoom link that I gave, have they not been able to join it? Sorry. Oh, okay, that's fine. In that case, it's fine. In that case, it's fine. All right. Then my Zoom is just being used to record it. Okay. Okay. So, Mark, let's 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 begin. All right. So I'll I'll say the word. Would you like to say the words in Arabic? Do you want to give it a go? Um, I haven't practiced that. So. Okay. I will do it in English. Okay. So. <clears throat> Your full name is Mark Thompson, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So, um, just repeat after me. I, Mark Thompson. I, Mark Thompson. Testify. Testify. That there is no God but Allah. That there is no God but Allah. And I testify. And I testify. That the Prophet Muhammad. That the Prophet Muhammad. Is God's servant and messenger. It's God's servant and messenger. And I testify. And I testify. That Jesus, peace be upon him. That Jesus, peace be upon him, is also God's servant and messenger. Is also God's servant and messenger. MashaAllah, you're a Muslim. Well, you already okay. were. But <laughs> now, <laughs> takbir. Oh, Allah, Allah, Allah. So again, the takbir is something is is a Muslim, you know, kind of quite uh, badly kind of ruined by uh, by the movies. But the Allahu Akbar is basically. Uh, is is the is the glorification of it's a word of glorification and magnification of God. It means God is greatest, and, and we Muslims tend to say it when they celebrate. Yeah. All right, all right. So, the Queen. All right, mashallah. Good, great. So, so uh, welcome, Mark, to Islam. I want to raise my hands with everybody and say a brief uh, prayer for you. Okay. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina You can do the same, raise your hands Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa 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 ala Sayyidina ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا المتقين أماما الله will ask you that you accept this gathering that you accept the, the shahada of Brother Mark 
Allah we ask you that you grant him and the rest of us steadfastness in our faith and in our iman that you give that you that you make us your close servants that you grant us uh, your worship that you make us people who are punctual in our prayers uh, who are repentant uh, who love you and love your messenger and love your love your religion ya <coughs> Allah we ask you that you that you give uh, give all of us uh, afia safety and security in our lives that you remove our difficulties and our stresses and our anxieties that you give us contentment and you give us peace ya Ahmad Rahim mm -hmm. Allah we ask you that you that, that when it's our time to 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 meet you that you give us death with iman and that you keep us steadfast up until that point Allah we ask you that on the day of judgment you raise us with believers with pious people with good people with prophets mm -hmm. uh, uh, and the martyrs and, and all of those who, who are beloved to you, Ya Rahman Rahman, Ya Akbar Rahman. Allah, we, we ask you that you accept us for, in the effort for spreading the deen, make us good du'a, make us people of da'wah. Allah, we ask you that you guide us, that you keep us in your guidance and you keep us in your protection, you keep us in your grace. Sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Ya Rahman Rahman. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> uh, so, usually, people, a lot of people hug you. So. <laughs> <laughs> first, do it. Okay. I'll, I'll be okay. the first. Okay. 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 okay, and then I'll do it. Thank you. Be careful with those wires. I don't want to get the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your first shahada? Welcome, man. Welcome. I came from Thank you. 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 Huh? You can cut it out, I can edit it for you. So, send me the clip, I'll edit it. You, okay. are you, is your family going to be okay just with that? Are they alright to just watch from there? Or are they going to join the Zoom call? Okay, and that, can, will that stand? Do you have enough battery? Because if you want to, you can ask them to join the Zoom call if you want. Yeah, we've got still some up here. It's too much. Okay, so this is okay. So that's fine. So can they see? Can they see us? But they have to see you now. So I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. So brothers, once so who's staying? So you you're staying, brother Mirza stay. A little bit. You can stay if you want. Inshallah. So why don't you guys go there? Uh, so here you can you can go there. Um, sorry, I forgot your name. Dominic. <laughs> Dominic. So let me get that for you. You come here as well. I don't usually we don't usually do it like that. The ladies stay in the ladies' room and the men in the men's room. But we'll make an exception for you guys. And then Josia. So um, that's the that's the frame. So you you go sit in between your your parents-in-law. I will I will capture the frame for you. There you go. I've got everybody. Everybody? Okay, everyone in Indonesia, you can see, right? You can see, they, I think you can all see. <laughs> <laughs> it's mute. <laughs> Is it muted? Yeah. Um, yeah, they can, but can they can hear us? I think they can hear us. They can hear us, okay. Uh, Brother Mirza, for the recording, could you frame that camera up as well? Towards them, not towards me, but to, towards them. Just here, just so position it roughly where that, where that camera is. Just don't knock it over, that's it. And then you want to capture all four of them. You do that? Because I'm going to share that recording with them later. Yeah, not yet, not yet. So, so there we are. So Mark's mum's been half cut off there. All right. Bit, 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 bit more. Yeah, that's it. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah, go back a little bit. Yeah, go back a bit more. Bit more. Okay, now turn it. Turn it towards Mark. Bit more. 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 That's it. Good. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so the next part that we are going to do, we'll sign all the paperwork at the end, Mark. Don't go without signing everything. <laughs> so the next part is Mark and Fozier's nikah. Okay? 
Só,